Psalm 37 Do not fret because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass they will soon wither, like green plants they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord, trust in him, and he will do this. He will make your righteous reward shine like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord, and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways. When they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them. But the Lord laughs at the wicked, for he knows their day is coming. The wicked draw the sword and bend the bow to bring down the poor and needy, to slay those whose ways are upright. But their swords will pierce their own hearts and their bows will be broken. Better the little that the righteous have than the wealth of many wicked. For the power of the wicked will be broken, but the Lord upholds the righteous. The blameless spend their days under the Lord's care, and their inheritance will endure forever. In times of disaster they will not wither, in days of famine they will enjoy plenty. But the wicked will perish. Though the Lord's enemies are like the flowers of the field, they will be consumed. They will go up in smoke. The wicked borrow and do not repay, but the righteous give generously. Those the Lord blesses will inherit the land, but those he curses will be destroyed. The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Though he may stumble, he will not fall, for the Lord upholds him with his hand. I was young, and now I am old, yet I have never seen the righteous forsaken or their children begging bread. They are always generous and lend freely. Their children will be a blessing. Turn from evil and do good. Then you will dwell in the land forever. For the Lord loves the just and will not forsake his faithful ones. Wrongdoers will be completely destroyed. The offspring of the wicked will perish. The righteous will inherit the land and dwell in it forever. The mouths of the righteous utter wisdom, and their tongues speak what is just. The law of their God is in their hearts, their feet do not slip. The wicked lie in wait for the righteous, intent on putting them to death. But the Lord will not leave them in the power of the wicked or let them be condemned when brought to trial. Hope in the Lord and keep his way. He will exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are destroyed, you will see it. I have seen a wicked and ruthless man flourishing like a luxuriant native tree. But he soon passed away and was no more. Though I looked for him, he could not be found. Consider the blameless. Observe the upright. A future awaits those who seek peace, but all sinners will be destroyed. There will be no future for the wicked. The salvation of the righteous comes from the Lord. He is their stronghold in time of trouble. 
The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them, because they take refuge in him. Psalm 38 Lord, do not rebuke me in your anger or discipline me in your wrath. Your arrows have pierced me, and your hand has come down on me. Because of your wrath, there is no health in my body, there is no soundness in my bones because of my sin. My guilt has overwhelmed me like a burden too heavy to bear. My wounds fester and are loathsome because of my sinful folly. I am bowed down and brought very low. All day long I go about mourning. My back is filled with searing pain. There is no health in my body. I am feeble and utterly crushed. I groan in anguish of heart. All my longings lie open before you, Lord. My sighing is not hidden from you. My heart pounds, my strength fails me. Even the light has gone from my eyes. My friends and companions avoid me because of my wounds. My neighbors stay far away. Those who want to kill me set their traps. Those who would harm me talk of my ruin. All day long they scheme and lie. I am like the deaf who cannot hear, like the mute who cannot speak. I have become like one who does not hear, whose mouth can offer no reply. Lord, I wait for you. You will answer, Lord my God. For I said, do not let them gloat or exalt themselves over me when my feet slip. For I am about to fall and my pain is ever with me. I confess my iniquity. I am troubled by my sin. Many have become my enemies without cause. Those who hate me without reason are numerous. Those who repay my good with evil lodge accusations against me, though I seek only to do what is good. Lord, do not forsake me. Do not be far from me, my God. Come quickly to help me, my Lord and my Saviour. Proverbs chapter 17 Better a dry crust with peace and quiet than a house full of feasting with strife. A prudent servant will rule over a disgraceful son, and will share the inheritance as one of the family. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but the Lord tests the heart. A wicked person listens to deceitful lips. A liar pays attention to a destructive tongue. Whoever mocks the poor shows contempt for their maker. Whoever gloats over disaster will not go unpunished. Children's children are a crown to the aged and parents are the pride of their children. Eloquent lips are unsuited to a godless fool. How much worse lying lips to a ruler. A bribe is seen as a charm by the one who gives it. They think success will come at every turn. Whoever would foster love covers over an offence, but whoever repeats the matter separates close friends. A rebuke impresses a discerning person more than a hundred lashes a fool. Evildoers foster rebellion against God. The messenger of death will be sent against them. Better to meet a bear robbed of her cubs than a fool bent on folly. Evil will never leave the house of one who pays back evil for good. Starting a quarrel is like breaching a dam. So drop the matter before a dispute breaks out. Acquitting the guilty and condemning the innocent, the Lord detests them both. Why should fools have money in hand to buy wisdom when they are not able to understand it? A friend loves at all times, 
and a brother is born for a time of adversity. One who has no sense shakes hands in pledge and puts up security for a neighbour. Whoever loves a quarrel loves sin. Whoever builds a high gate invites destruction. One whose heart is corrupt does not prosper. One whose tongue is perverse falls into trouble. To have a fool for a child brings grief. There is no joy for the parent of a godless fool. A cheerful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. The wicked accept bribes in secret to pervert the course of justice. A discerning person keeps wisdom in view, but a fool's eyes wander to the ends of the earth. A foolish son brings grief to his father and bitterness to the mother who bore him. If imposing a fine on the innocent is not good, surely to flog honest officials is not right. The one who has knowledge uses words with restraint, and whoever has understanding is even-tempered. Even fools are thought wise if they keep silent, and discerning if they hold their tongues.